Hi, y'all. I'll talk about these in a minute. How is everyone? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're stitching lots or what you can. Today is March 28th, 2018, and I wanted to uh, come and talk about the glasses I just got. And I have some winners for a couple things that I was giving away. Sorry, my hair is driving me nuts. It's dreary out, drizzling and everything. I went out to lunch with a friend and got all curly-fied again, which I'm used to anyway, but it just kind of, I don't know, kind of went. So, um, I want to say a very, very, very warm thank you to Quilting Stitcher. She put out a video and shouted me out and she had some really nice things to say and brought tears to my eyes brought tears to my eyes and because of her I felt the love from the floss to community after that my subscribers went up and I so appreciate that and appreciate her and I appreciate all of the one all of y'all that shout out as peon floss tubers that don't have you know a thousand plus subscribers and and, uh, I mean, we want to feel the love, too, just like she said. And we're all here for the same reason, to show what we love to do, be it quilting, stitching, all kinds of things. I like to do all kinds of crafts as well. And, anyway, I so appreciate that quilting stitcher. Her name is Nancy. Go check her out as well. I... I want to thank you all for the very kind and loving comments you made, you know, telling me don't give up, keep on doing what I want to do, and you're so right, I'm not going to have any more pity parties anymore. So, there. Thank you very much. Since I'm shouting out, I'm going to go ahead and do a few more. Amy loves toads. Stitching with a dachshund or dash out, however you say it. Monica O. And Kim loves to cross stitch. Those are a few I found and have been watching. And I'm not going to talk about what I think they do or, you know, how I love what they do. You go watch and find out for yourself. Because everybody has opinions and different opinions. And I just want to throw the names out there and you go. Go seek them out and find them. I will put the links down below. So, anyway, how's everybody? Um, hmm. Where do I, where do I start? Like I said again, thank you, thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to those who have already subscribed and commented. And th that reminds me, when you all comment, and I reply to your comment. Do you see that reply? I don't know. Sometimes um, I feel like it's kind of a waste if you reply to the comments because I don't get another reply sometimes when I ask questions. And, oh, uh, Stitching with a Dachshund, I sent you a message through YouTube as well. hope you, you watch this. Um, go check your messages. I'm not sure how else to tell you how to see them. <laughs> Do you all have the notifications turned on? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I was just playing around and and uh, saw a message in there. It comes up through. <coughs> um, I have it as an email as well. No matter if I get comments or messages or whatever, it comes to me as an email. So maybe maybe you should check those. I don't know. Anyway, on to these. Christine stitch all the things. Had some of these. She had bought some, and she did her review, and that made me want to get some. Um, just because I wear contacts, and if I stitch during the day when I have my contacts on, on some things, smaller count fabric, I can't see. It just kills me with these, and because I can't see far away, so I'm nearsighted, which means I can see 100% perfect close up. With the contacts in, you can't do that because that makes it blurry, 
So I've had to resort to where I didn't bring it over here, but the magnifying glass goes around your neck and it kind of sits right here and then hangs out. I can't stand it. So I wanted to try these and I was so glad she bought some and did a review on them or I wouldn't have even known about them. But they, you saw, they sit on your head. The rest, they have a good little nose piece right here, pretty long. They sit on your head. Not too bad. It's, it's a little, a little cumbersome, I guess, maybe. Just because of the weight and probably until you get used to them. It's got the lens and it flips up. Has a light right here. It's hard to do this backwards. Anyway, you, uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. I won't, I won't blind you. It's got the light right there. So when you're looking down, it's on your piece. And she did a good review on them, too, and, and showed more extent if you want to go see it. takes batteries right here. That's what makes it a little heavy. And it does have a uh, elastic strap to go around your head where you can take these off if you want to. I, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Came with a little cloth to clean your lenses. Came with instructions. And then it came with a little box of one 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3.5 lenses in this little box. That's cute. I did not try the one. I just pulled out the 1.5 because my readers, that's what I use. So I thought, I'll just do that. And I tried them the other night and had my contacts in. And they worked great. The light shine was shining perfectly on my piece. I still have my big light on just because I like it on. But as far as the piece, this really helped to, you know, shine on your work that you're doing. And my lens, like I said, there's those different ones. So I I love this. Um, gosh, and I forgot. I can't say the name. I think it's Yakosun. Yakosun. I can't even remember now. She gave me the link. And... I will post the link for you guys as well if you would like to check it out. I think they were $14.99. Then you had your, your tax shipping and handling and all that. And I got them in two days. It was that quick. So, there's those. Get these out of the way for her. Mess them up. Also, I ordered a Lowry stand. I can't wait to get that. I've seen uh, four... Uh, four different people, I think, so far that have bought them and reviewed them to us. And so once I get mine, I'll review it. They've, they've given great reviews on it. I bought mine directly from the UK. So, and I bought it directly from the Lowry's stand company. Because it was cheaper than going through, I think, a couple of new so-and-so and, -so and um, some other UK stitching place. I just went straight to the Lowry's and I'm supposed to have it, knock on wood, in 10 business days. Now, I don't know if that's just what they say because I know coming from the UK has to go through customs probably, but you know, I'm not worried about that. Anyway, I can't wait to get that. I've seen so many different people say that. So once I get mine, I'll, I'll try to uh, do a review and show you on that. So, okay. Well, as I was talking about my glasses, you know, I had started the Prairie Schooler 2012 Santa. That one. This is my progress. Wait, do I have it the right way? Nope. Yeah. You saw my back. That's the progress I have right there in the middle of a suit. I used the glasses to stitch this, and it was great. Yes, this is 18 count, but um, for my eyes, and like right here sitting, there's no way I could stitch. Now, I probably could with my readers. It'd still be a little difficult, um, but with those glasses... I was able to just to zoom, zoom, zoom. And then at, late at night when my contacts start getting dry, I take them out anyway and I can see perfect. But this is what I tried them out with and 
loved it, loved it. And I want to show you. So I'm currently working on that. And then I decided, I don't know if you guys remember, I had a Paula Vaughn piece. Let's see if I can get it out here. I wanted to bring it back out and work on it. I've, I've missed it. I've looked at other people's quilting stuff, and I, I really missed it. I love quilts. There's my Paula Vaughn. This one is the it was out of the Quilt for All Seasons booklet, and I don't have the whole thing. I just have two parts because my chart's on one side. I don't even have the picture, but I'll try to get it. But anyway, that's where it's at, and I'm going to work on this some more. I want to get this finished. Because, I mean, you know, you put a lot of work in these things. I need to get this finished. I have the perfect frame waiting. So that'll be easy FFO. So I'm going to pull that back out and do that. I'm thinking, and this is hard for me because I thought I could try to do different works in progress, whips, and rotate them. I tend to just be a monogamous stitcher. I get that one piece and I just keep going and going and going and I don't know why. I wasn't always like that. So I'm going to try to work on these a little bit more and rotate them. Um, so many of you do it and do a great job. So many of you do just one, still do a great job. I'm just, I'm going to try it. I can't promise anything, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to get my told in a garden. This is the country store. I'm going to get it back out because I really do not have that much left on this to go. And it's such a shame to just sit there. And then I can maybe get all the others framed. I still do have the harvest, but and I just have that quilt part on it. I'm not going to worry about it yet. I'm going to try to get this country store done and that quilt. So I'll have that, the country store, the quilt for all season. And that is January, by the way. And then... um my prairie schooler and I am going to start a new one it is the uh, heart and hand Halloween night it's small I have the fabric for it oh, there we go you see that I have the fabric for it already ready to go I don't think you can see. It is, I believe this is open. Open or earthen? Of course, I took the tag off. Uh, let me see. Maybe it tells me it's still here. Oh, neither. It's double loon. 28 count from picture this plus double loon. Hope I'm saying that right. Let's see if you can see the true color. Yep, that's, that's probably the true color like that. Not so blue hint, but anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start that one. I don't know that I'll start it tonight, but if not tonight, tomorrow. I've got those three, so that'll be four whips for me, people. I'm going to try it. And then I'm going to try a fifth one. If anybody out there wants to do an SAL with me, because it's really a small quick stitch, I think. We can do the um, Witches Night Out. I know I talked about this last time that I wanted to start it. It's uh, With Thy Needle and Thread, Country Stitches. It's Brenda Gervais. Witches Night Out. Does anybody want to do an SAL? I've got to get my fabric still. I do have the threads. And I have my chart. And I made a working chart because that's what a lot of us do because we don't want to ruin the other one. Um, but th So I don't have that with me. Anyway, do you want to do this? Anybody? Let me know. I'd like to add that fifth one in there. And once we get enough people that wants to do it, I'll, I'll wait for maybe, well, I still have to get my fabric. So probably a couple of weeks. So if you want to message me or whatever and want to do, do this with me, let me know.
I'll be glad to. So that'll be five whips. That'll be good for me. That'll be good for me. That's all I need. And then I can just rotate and, you know, I don't know why we put such pressure on ourselves, but we do. Um, anyway, okay, so also just a few things, not really stitching related, still crafty. Oh, yeah, I got my new scissors. I got a new pair of scissors. And let me show you those real quick. I got so many cute, cute things in. I know you guys saw my farm stuff last time. I went ahead and took these out because we're going to take them out. And they're not really anything fancy, but I don't know. I just, I liked them. They were just so cute. I I put the paper they were on. A little butterfly. That helped seeing them. Just simple. I think I have some more coming. They do have a little bit of a design right in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe. So, I got those. And today, when I was at my grocery store, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm in a little town, community. We're a country town. And my little grocery store, um, the lady, she orders a lot of pretty things. Sometimes they're too expensive. Sometimes they're not. But she had this milk can. Country life. Little star. It's just the, you know, galvanized tin. I can't really see. It doesn't really say anything else. But it's got the little black check. A little bit of twine with the star. How cute. That'll go with my farm stuff. It's not too bad size. I know I have a little one. So now I have this size. I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. That store, uh, because we live at least 30 minutes one to one town, actually two different towns, um, an hour all the way the rest around to go somewhere, I go to my little store a lot. I mean, you want to do small local business, you want to give them your, your business anyway, right? Plus, that little store means a lot to me because... Um, in this town, my ancestors uh, helped start this town, helped make it grow, and that store was theirs originally. And a guy bought it that grew up working there and, and now has it and has had it for years. So a lot of nostalgia there because there's still a lot of things in there that look the same to me. Um, some flooring, you know, just different things. And it's a lot of my childhood, so I love going in there too. And of course, I visit with everybody. And I like to, like I said, she has lots of cute stuff. Also, in the back, they have uh, boots and clothes and um, some jewelry. She has some jewelry and shoes that I've gotten there. Just a lot of cute stuff. So that's why I found that today. I love it. So, okay. Um, oh, yeah. Also, I made this to go with Easter. I'm missing something. I made this out of those plastic eggs and the grass. Nothing special. All it is is a piece of cut out cardboard. And we just glued the eggs however you wanted, whatever colors you wanted, and then did the grass everywhere. Mine is, I don't know if you can tell, it's purple, pink, and blue. I don't really decorate for Easter much, but I'm showing you this because I made this to go with, I think you can see my friend, this bunny. It's quilted. Floppy ears. Ribbons. My grandma had this bunny, and she always had it sitting out. She always loved to decorate, too. But look at him. Or, actually, we'll call her her. She's got a little lace. It's all quilted. So I wanted, I like to display it, and she sits in a little chair that was my great-grandma's high chair. And that was before they had the trays that came around the front. 
and they would tie them in. And that was my great grandma's. She sits in that. So, isn't that cute? So I show her out. So that's about my extent. I made the eggs to go with her. And then at one of the flea markets, I forgot to show these at that same flea market. I found these. It's just a, almost feels like it's a fabric. It's an orange fabric, but I can't tell if they, it's kind of hard to hear that. I don't know. Anyway, they were homemade, handmade, little carrots with the green. I had to get them to go with her. So that's my extent of Easter. I have a crock that sits over there by the chair that she sits in. And I have some greenery. And so I added a little purple watering can and some pink and purple uh, flowers. And then another little bitty bunny that has a lace hat, kind of like this lace. She has a little lace hat. That's my Easter decorating. So I wanted to show you guys this. I thought this was cool. This was $2. She had handmade them, $2. I mean, you can't beat that. And I'll have them because they're cloth. And I can have them with her. Oh, yeah, the bow. The bow came off. Oops, stuck. I made a bow, too, which I didn't do very well because, obviously, it came off. Bow goes with the Easter eggs. And this part hangs down, but it came off. I'll have to fix that. So that's my Easter. I wanted to show you that. And let's see. I'll put her down here. I think that is about the extent. Uh-oh. One of her ribbons came off. I'll have to tie that back on. I can't really think of anything else right now. So I want to get on with the um, couple of giveaways I have. And where did my notes go? Oh, yes. Remember the teapot. And the buttons. Oops, forgot they were upside down. And the little chart. The winner for those is, doo -doo 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 -doo, drum roll, Gigi in stitches. Yay! Hi, Gigi. Ginger is her name, and uh, she messaged me the other day, and we had a nice little talk. So thank you, Ginger, for your uh, encouragement as well. Thank you for our little talk, and these will be coming to you. Just get with me and get me your address. And then I had the blueberry homecoming told in a garden chart. Can't show too much of it. Remember that one? I put, there was, um, let's see, I had, where's my list? I had them different. There we go, sorry. I had several people want this. Unfortunately, two or three were not subscribers, so I had to take your name out. So I put everybody in the random thing. And sorry if you hear anything where I'm looking at my dogs wanting in my lap, and I have too many things in my lap. And I need to find another list. Hang on. I'll pause. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, the winner for the Blueberry Homecoming is, drumroll, Donnie Ow. You have won the Blueberry Homecoming. I did the random thing. It's hard for me to show you that because um, I have, I'm on my laptop and anyway, you just, you don't have to trust me. So, Gigi and Stitches, you got the teapot buttons and Donnie Ow. You got the Blueberry Homecoming. Congratulations. Get with me, Donnie and Gigi, and um, give me your address so I can get it sent to you. I think that's all I have right now. I might have some other giveaways the next regular video. This was just kind of a spur of the moment that I wanted to do and, and say hey and see how everybody's doing. Um, sorry, my hair is just like, ugh, drive me nuts. I, can, I need it cut. It's like hanging down my eyeballs a little bit. I can't stand it when it's right here. It tickles. <laughs> so I think I will get off here and go 
pull out the threads again for my quilt. I already still have the threads ready for the country store. They're still in a little um, bin all kitted up, so that'll be easy. Let me know how many want to do an SAL on that witch's night out. If you need more information, again, let me know. I'll show it one more time. I think it'll be a quick, quick stitch. I still have to get my fabric. Cute little witch. Witch's night out. With thy needle and thread. Or I think you can get it on Country Stitches. Is her other name. But it's Brenda Gervais. But yes, with thy needle and thread you probably find it. What does it say right here? It's not very big. It's um, what, 77 by 77. So... Dude, five... Five by five, and then with your, you know, whatever you're allotted, eight by eight or nine by nine, whatever you're allotted, um, inches across and all the way around you want. There it is again. I think she's so cute. So if you want to do an SIL with me, <laughs> let me know. I'll probably wait a couple of weeks because I still need to get my fabric. There that is. So everybody have a good rest of your week and I'll be watching Floss Tube and trying to scurry along so I can show you more. Thank you again for the comments, subscribers, everybody joining me, the new ones, the ones that have already subscribed. Thank you for coming back. Love y'all. Bye.